Hey, it's Jeremy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite fonts that I love using right now. So I'm in Illustrator, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you my top favorite fonts that I've been using. And the first one is Uniform. The second one is TT Norms. I put Norm there, but it's actually TT Norms. Uh, Herman, Steak and Cheese, and Montreal. So these are really, really great fonts, and the reason why is because they're so flexible. And if I go and click on one of them you can see how many different styles they have so this one has a light regular medium bold and black it also has a condensed version which is really cool and similar to TT norms as well it's got so many different styles and that's why I love these fonts because they're good for commercial use um, they're really flexible and they're just professional so if you look in you can see the structure of the actual letter forms are so are well done and really defined so even for Herman here you can see it's a really nice font. W Herman. Steak and Cheese is a brush font. So you can see this Steak and Cheese. If I type it in as well, they've actually got other versions. So they got a condensed regular. They got a pen one as well. And just a slab font as well. So I love that font because it's really cool. It looks better in lowercase, which you can see here. And then we've got Montreal. I think that's how you say it. Or Montreal or whatever. But if I click this, it's got so many styles. But also, it's got three different variations. So it's actually got classic, cl uh, grotesque, and jazz, and they've both got soft versions as well. So if I just um, pull this out here, and I go to my type tool, you can see the difference there. And then within that, they've got the multiple styles. So that's why I love using these fonts. They've been really, really cool. And then you can see here some examples of the different weights there. And then just a quick example of how I used all these five fonts to just create a quick little um, type layout here. You know, using all the different fonts, just keeping it um, real, really cool. And where I found these fonts, I got them on Design Cuts in a bundle, and this was the bundle here. So you can see here, it came with all these other ones, Nimbus Sands, Bondoni, Buffalo is really nice as well, Zona Pro, um, B Beto, and the Nixon fonts are really, really cool as well. Um, if I show you the Nixon, So this one comes with like crazy ones. You can see it comes with all these in that one font. So sort of vintage retro type of vibe, um, but also got some nice script fonts there. And then even sort of like a slab type of font. And then it also came with some illustrations. So all these illustrations can be used as well. Really detailed stuff. So maybe if I want to, you know, maybe use one of these nice little illustrations here and expand that and then maybe we'll get one of these colors can maybe do an overlay and then let's go I want to change the font so go Nixon Drop the opacity down. So just playing around here. I want to make it the same as this. So, I dropped the opacity down, but sometimes if you play with like overlay hard light, some of these other ones, color dodge, screen, drop it to 90%, drop this to 90%, and there we have it. Just play with some really cool. So you can see you can make a lot of cool stuff with this and these are my favorite favorite fonts. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know if this was helpful, this was cool. Subscribe and remember to leave a comment as well. Thanks so much. I'll chat to you in the next video.